read today a short explanation about miracles and wonders. And over there it's written that <clears throat> the hidden miracles, wonders that we have in our lives are greater, more precious and important than the ones that are revealed. For us, revealed miracles are the ones that are touching our hearts much more, like suddenly you get a huge amount of money or a person got sick and you pray for him in, in a wonderful, miraculous way. He's been healed like right after you prayed. So that's a revealed miracle. So for us, those are the ones who are inspiring in maximum. But the hidden miracles, the ones that we cannot recognize, the Gemara is saying, the Talmud is saying, that those are way greater than the revealed ones. No. Which are those? Your ability to function. It's a wonder. The body of a person and of all the rest of the animals, all creation actually, is built from particles and cells that never meant to function, <laughs> never meant to work together, and to be so synchronized and cooperative, it's not supposed to be so, because of their nature. Everyone is divided and has its own center of power and energy and supposed to be separated and function on its own or not to function at all. A body that is made out of separated different bags like pockets that contains liquid and all somehow working and functioning in great cooperation the heart is such a small and tiny compresso engine to function for 80 years without stopping for even more than that in some cases. All those wonders, like we're able to eat and able to digest the food, able to find our income and to purchase and buy all our needs, those are obvious for us. We're accepting, taking them for granted. While the Gemara is saying that they are even greater. Now, why? Why is it so? Why those hidden miracles are even greater than the revealed, inspiring ones? Because that the maker of the universe himself is hidden. He is hidden from the eyes of flesh, and he is hidden from our minds. And even while we talk about him and learning about him in the Holy Scripts or in, in conversations with great teachers, the inspiration is shining for a moment or so, for for an hour, but then it's melting, it dissolves again, and we're left without that earlier understanding about the Maker's greatness and, and nature. The Maker himself is hiding himself under the coverings of creation, and he himself is hidden. Therefore, when you enjoy his supervision in hidden ways, it means that you are closer to him. We need to look for the maker of the universe and to find and recognize him in our lives without the miracles, without the wonders, without the great epiphanies and great inspirations. We need to live our lives with the maker of the universe as if there is no separation between us and just to live our simple lives with him in complete faith and complete trust, just knowing that he is here with us, not there with us, here with us right now, in that moment that we speak.